Today we're speaking with Dr. Joe Gray, Director of the Division of Life Sciences at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. He's also the Professor of Laboratory Medicine and co-leader of the Breast Oncology Program at the University of California, San Francisco. Dr. Gray is a dream team leader for Stand Up to Cancer, for which the AACR is the sole scientific partner. And his research project is entitled, An Integrative Approach to Targeting Breast Cancer, Molecular Subtypes, and Their Resistance Phenotypes. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Gray. My pleasure. Could you begin by summarizing your Dream Team project and the goal of the research? Yes, the uh, Dream Team project is aimed at trying to improve our ability to durably treat metastatic uh, breast cancers of all types, triple negatives, ERB2 positives, ER positive uh, breast cancers. And the goal of this is to integrate what we know about the way breast cancers behave clinically with our understanding of these cancers that come out of laboratory studies of uh, model systems. And the goal of this is to try to apply really modern generation genomic analysis technologies to understand what makes a metastatic cancer progress and what makes it fail to respond to the therapies that we now have. We also hope to be able to use that information to identify new compounds that we can bring into the uh, clinical trials program of the uh, Stand Up to Cancer project that will be more effective than what we now have. And where does the research currently stand? How's it going? Well, the clinical trials are underway in all three uh, of the different tumor types, and so uh, that's exciting. And at the same time, we have begun to uh, screen compounds that have come from the uh, pharmaceutical industry from biotechnology. We've already analyzed um, about 80 compounds uh, and found over half of them that tend to have strong subtype specificity. And so the goal now is to uh, figure out how to design new clinical trials to evaluate the efficacy clinically of these compounds that we uh, think have promise from our laboratory studies. One of the goals of Stand Up to Cancer is to encourage multi-institutional collaboration. Can you discuss the collaborations in your work? Yes, the Stand Up to Cancer project that we have is the essence in interlaboratory collaborations. Uh, we have laboratories uh, with uh, uh, Dennis Slayman, Craig Jordan, Kent Osborne, Max Witcha, uh, uh, and others that uh, are really leading the clinical trials program and are evolving uh, new biological insights into that. This also includes Alan Ashworth. And so we get a wealth of uh, clinical information from these investigators as well as biological clues about how the cancers are behaving. And on the other hand, uh, we have an incredibly uh, deep team of cell biologists and computational biologists uh, that are trying to understand how to really find new therapeutic approaches that are going to be effective against the cancers that are now uh, revealing uh, themselves to be resistant to our therapies. So we have people like Arul Chanayan and David Hausler who are world famous uh, computational biologists. We have uh, Joan Brugge, Greg Hannon, Peter Sorger, uh, and others who are really a world-class cell biologist, uh, and they're bringing their expertise uh, to bear on this as well. So it's a very exciting, broad-ranging collaboration that uh, I think is going to uh, reveal new insights into how these cancers behave. Your lab in Berkeley is currently developing experimental and computational models to predict response of therapeutic agents that would guide and identify patients most likely to respond to existing therapies. Where does this stand in the research pipeline? Well, as I said, we have uh, already processed through our cell line model system about 80 drugs, and uh, over half of them uh, show substantial subtype specificity. Uh, we think that we have several of them that are now ready to enter into clinical trials, and uh, we're optimistic that they will have greater efficacy than some of the compounds that we're now uh, using, or alternately, uh, that we might be able to combine with existing drugs to improve the efficacy of the overall treatment process. Dr. Gray, thank you very much. Thank you.